Hey guys, I'm at Brent's, or at least I'm in the flag, so that's where I'm doing this from. And I'm going to do an unboxing. I did one of these before with an SSD, and now I'm going to do it with a box and a mouse pad. And the box has a mouse. <laughs> so I'm going to unbox this box, yeah. Brent's dogs. I'm really excited for this video. Anyways, um, the mouse is a rocket comb. Pure. This color here? Pure color. Let me check. Cone pure color. And so the color part just means that it's not gray. No, they're usually black. Yeah, the exterior is usually black. And so I think for the fifth anniversary, Rocket launched. Four different colors. So one had orange on the panels of the mouse, one had blue, one had red on the top, the one that I got, all white. So that looks so good. And then the cat, the rocket logo. Whoops. That part you can you know, change to pretty much any color you want. Anyways, 16.8 million color lighting. Anyways, um, so one of my stream viewers actually donated me the mouse pad and the mouse. So that was Dylan. So thanks so much, Dylan. And yeah, I'm going to open this up. Dylan! Dylan! <laughs> there, cool. Close-ups, close-ups. Other close-up, done. Only the best production quality of friends. So, I mean, it's always nice. <laughs> When products come in a box like this, it really is. Especially when you're in a store and you're trying stuff out. I found it, honestly, the thing that I care about the most with mice is whether it fits my hand. Yeah. That's really what I care about the most. Um, and then whether it's laser. This one's laser. And I prefer laser over optical. And this is 8200 DPI. You know. There's an easier way to open this, so you don't have to go through the top. Top, right? <laughs> Brent has um, one of those head scratches in the shape of a speck. Sure. I don't know what you really call that shape on his face. <laughs> that on his face. It feels good. I, I feel like I should be using a knife. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a front boxer, I'm not gonna lie. Is this is this not the right frame? You know, this is also a tutorial on how to do an unboxing video, I think. So learn from my mistakes. So what you wanna do is make horizontal cuts on the tape. You might want an exacto knife or something. Here we go. I used to not like get unboxing videos, you know, because it's not... The person has another product long enough to, to try it out and test it and give a full review of it. It's... I don't know. There's, it, there's something superficial about unboxing videos that I think we all like. Just seeing people get good stuff, you know, and like living vicariously through them. Um, but Here's the mouse. No, for unboxing videos. And plus, when you order a mouse, then you can go look at unboxing videos and be like, yeah, that's what it's going to be like for you're me. You're excited. Exactly. I always do that. I did. I watched some unboxing videos for these mice. No one. I didn't see anyone who had the phantom white one, though. Um, this one's like almost sold out. Got off of Amazon. And there's one left for the Amazon store that Dylan ordered it from. But yeah. It looks really, really, really good. I'm probably just going to have uh, the cat always be green. Good, uh, record. Like that. And I use mouse bound, bound cheese, bungees. And that was fine. These kinds of cords, which is fine. You don't need one. But yeah, it's just my hand, like, it's exactly what I'm looking for. So, so yeah, thanks, Dylan. I know that one of these buttons is, like, a cloning button. Um... Or it just, I think when you press it, it just changes the function of all the other buttons. So that's really good. You have, you know, twice as many buttons as usual. 
for StarCraft and muscle memory. Wouldn't really say that's too important. But, you know, there are, there are games where people like having a noxious amount of macros. Oh yeah, let me open up this. It seems real fast. You know, maybe you're a crafter. Cool, cool. Dude, this mess looks so sick. There's the underside. I'm really, really happy with this. And yeah, as I said, uh, cat lights up. Maybe I can plug it in. <laughs> hmm, I'll think about it. It's on my computer. <laughs> so I don't have all the ports are full right now. And here is the mouse pad. And I'm, this is what I'm actually most excited for, as nice as this mouse is. And this actually is a pretty expensive mouse pad. It's between $60 and $70. But it's like, we'll open it first. You know, feel it first. A lot of people mistake this for a cloth mouse pad, which it is not. It has a silicone surface. And it's vulcanized. I actually, what do you think that means, vulcanized? Texture? Uh, I think it means they like heat it up like crazy or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vulcanized silicone surface. <laughs> we need like a crazy ad for that. You know, like, instead of heat is enemy of PC, like, unvulcanization is enemy of mouse. This mouse right. pad also features smooth, rounded edges and a covert text silent glide oh, treatment that. on I'll the get surface. To that. Oh, here, I'll go back here. No fray edges, ultra quiet lighting, easy to clean, total speed. Okay, control. yeah, yeah. So this mouse pad is super easy to clean. And I use cloth mouse pads, so I thought it would be difficult. I thought it would be too difficult to go um, towards hard top mouse pads, right? It just the mouse glides too much. Um, I just don't feel like I have control over the mouse. This let me put the mouse on it. I swear, this is the perfect compromise. Do you hear that? Wow, that sounds really good too. But yeah, this is like the perfect compromise. And um, you can actually just clean the top with water. Are you the scene I'm looking for? Yes, you are. Okay, so here you go. You can clean this. Let me show my old mouse pad. I got this mouse pad, I want to say two or three months ago. I always rebuy these. I kind of want to hide the brand. But, you know, it's just like any other cloth mouse, cloth mouse pad. It's not still serious fault that it gets dirty. And you can't really clean it off. What I do is I use a lint roller to try and clean it off. It doesn't really work. Uh, this one, you can clean. So, yeah, always looks good. And then, the other thing about this that I love is, once again, and this happens with plastic mouse pads. This happens with all of them. But cloth ones especially are fine. They start to peel in the corner. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. If you're watching this video, you know what I mean. Anyways, they start to fray. Uh, I guess kind of annoying. You know, you can be playing and notice the fraying and just get like OCD about it. Just be like, God damn it. I should get some glue for that. But you never do. So what that even do? You know? You never fix it. I really like the surface of that mouse pad. This one? Yes. Yeah, oh, it's, one. yeah. Yeah. It's really, really nice. So anyways, whereas the corners of this one um, and there's a quote uh, by Dr. Eric J. Dale, who is a rock cat scientist who worked on this mouse pad. And the quote is, to master the depths, one must first control the surface. And so I really like that about this mouse pad because it has a great surface, great for control. I, I, full, I agree. That's just so true, Brent. Anyways, um, yeah. The edges are bonded really, really well. Like it actually will not fray. This is the like I. This is the biggest talking point. I saw it once again. I was watching unboxing videos for everything I bought. <laughs> Just gets the hype up. It gets the hype up. And yeah, so it was like the major talking point that everyone had for this mouse pad. But for me, it, the surface is exactly what I was looking for. Way higher quality than cloth cloth mouse pad. Of course, you're paying for that higher quality, but. Yeah, I really these, like the bonded edges. I, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. These don't last longer than a year. And even to get a year out of it, um, it can really affect your performance. My mouse was dragging so much on my mouse pad. You know what? My last one did not last a year. My last one lasted, I want to say, eight months. And I really should replace it after six months. 
And I'm really careful about my mess pads. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put this under here. It's a really good size too, by the way. And so that's smooth it's like a plastic size. mouse pad. It's it's smooth. It feels really good. But it's super it flexible texture. like a cloth mouse pad. Yeah. It's crazy. I love the sound of it. So high tech. Alright, so I plugged the mouse in and here it is. The logo lights up. You can change the color of it. Like I said, probably gonna make mine green. That's what my sensei always was. And dude, this mouse looks so good. I really like the branding for Rocket. Um, I still have my Rocket jacket, actually. I should have worn that. <laughs> but it's for a dead team, so probably not. I made the right decision. Hold it up here one more time. Only I could find this one. Pretty happy about this. So, yeah, so that was the Rocket Hero Mess Pad. Webcam still flips, so that didn't completely fix it. Aura. And the Rocket Cone Sheer Color Mess. And again, the color just means it was part of the five year collection, so it's one of the four colors. This one being a phantom white. So, yeah, so much. Very durable, very durable. I like that about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.